Good afternoon Year 2, welcome to Tuesday's topic lesson. So today in topic and tomorrow we are going to be doing some artwork and we are going to be creating our very own Great Fire of London silhouette picture and hopefully by the end of tomorrow we will have all created something that looks like this. But before we start creating our artwork we need to find out how we know what the Great Fire of London looked like. So let's find out together. Now we're going to find out how do we know about the Great Fire of London? So the Great Fire of London happened in the past. We know it happened in the year 1666. And we know what happened because people wrote in their diary, and we know a very famous man called Samuel Pepys wrote in his diary. So that tells us all the events that happened during the Great Fire of London. And people also wrote about the events in newspapers. But I want you to have a think. How would we know what the Great Fire of L London looked like? Do you think they would have had computers? Cameras, mobile phones, tablets. They didn't have those types of devices back in the 17th century. How do you think people would have found out about what the fire was like? Let's find out together. So, back in the 17th century, people would have painted pictures of the fire. That was because... They didn't have cameras to take photographs. So this is a picture, a painting, that an artist has created back of form of when, what the fire would have looked like. Here we have another painting of what the Great Fire looked like. So again, it is not a photograph taken on a tablet or a mobile phone because they didn't have those devices back then. The only thing that they had were to record it by writing, but also to record by painting and drawing. So children, our job today is that we are going to be creating our very own silhouette scene of the Great Fire of London. Can you practice and say the word silhouette? Well done. So children, this is what a silhouette scene or painting looks like. So a silhouette is the dark shape, the dark outline of something or someone. So this picture is the outline, the silhouette of some buildings. And hopefully by tomorrow, we are going to have created something that looks a little bit like this. And today we are going to focus on making the background for our silhouette scene. And as you can see, the silhouette is of the Tudor style houses. And we're going to focus today on making our background. So now it is time for us to think about the background to create our very own silhouette Great Fire of London scene. So, using this picture, can you tell your grown-up what the background is in this picture? Well done if you said it was the fire. Now, I want you to think about what colours can you see that we are going to need to make the fire background? Well done. The colours we are going to need are red, yellow and orange. And now Miss Billick is going to show you some different ways that you can make the background using some materials that you might have at home. So the colours I need to recreate the fire background are red, yellow and orange. So let's have a look at some materials that we could use to recreate the background of the fire. So here we have got some different strips of coloured paper. So what Miss Billick has done here is I've found the three colours that I need to make the fire and I have ripped the sh into strips to make it look like the flames. And if you can see, I've left some overlapping at the top to make it look like the flames are 
fluttering like that. Okay, so what you would need to do is get a piece of paper and you would tear it to the size that you would want and then I would stick that on and I've done some overlapping of the coloured paper because I want to get rid of all of the white on my background. Now, I am using an A3 sheet, but if you haven't got an A3 sheet, you can create your silhouette scene on an A4 sheet. So one way that you could create your flame background is by using coloured paper. The next way that you could create it is if you have some tissue paper at home. Miss Billick has done exactly the same method. I have teared the tissue paper and I have made them into different size flames, again overlapping some at the top to make it look like the fire. Now you need to make sure if you are using paper or tissue paper that you don't stick your flames that way. We are going to stick our flames that way so it goes up the page like that. Another way that we can recreate our fire background is that if you have some coloured crayons at home. So I have got my red, my orange and my yellow crayon and I have done some long pencil strokes to recreate the fire or the flame background. So I'm just going to turn my picture slightly and I'm really lightly pressing and I'm making sure my crayon is moving in the same direction. I'm not going to go across, I'm going to go up and down because I want it to look like the flames are traveling up the page. So that is my red. I'm now going to go over with my orange crayon And then finally, I would go over with my yellow crayon and it creates the effect of the fire. So if you have coloured crayons, this is the way that you could recreate your background. Let's have a look at a couple more ways that you could do for your background. So another way you can create your fire background is by using paint. So you might have some different coloured paints at home. So here I have got two primary paint colours. Can you tell your grown-up what this colour is? Well done, that's red. What about this colour? Well done, that's yellow. Now, I can remember that there was another colour that I needed to make the fire background. Can you tell your grown-up what that colour was? Well done, it's orange. Now, I don't have orange paint. Does anybody know what I could do to make orange paint? Fantastic, well done. So, I am going to do a little bit of colour mixing. So, if I mix red and yellow together, let's find out what colour it makes. So, I'm going to put a little bit in here. And then I'm going to get some yellow. tell your grown-up what colour we have made. Well done, we have made orange by colour mixing red and yellow together. So now I have my three colours to do my fire background. So what I'm going to do is on my piece of paper, re remembering my long paintbrush strokes, I'm going to go up and down my piece of paper because I want it to look like the fire, the flames. I don't want to change the direction because the fire, the flames travel up. So that is the way my paintbrush strokes are going to go. So if you have paint at home, this could be one way that you create your background. Now, if you don't have paint at home, you might have something called watercolour paint. And again, you can use watercolour paint to create your fire background. 
So here I have got the right three colours. I've got orange, yellow and red. And for my watercolours, I need a little pot of water. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water and I'm going to do a little bit of mixing, I think, first of all, of my red and of my orange. And I'm going to, again, do my long brush strokes up and down. When I've done that, I might then dip into the yellow because at the moment it's looking very dark with the red and the orange. So I'm just going to dip in there and add some yellow, remember up and down brush strokes to create it a little bit lighter and so you can see the yellow in the flames. So children, that is the different ways that you can create your fire background. And hopefully by the end, you should have something that looks like this. And what Miss Billick here has done is I have shown you the two different ways to recreate your background using those paints. So this side, I have used the acrylic paint. And on this side, I have used the watercolour paint. So I've just left that little bit down the middle so you can see the difference between the two. And hopefully, once you have made your background, you shall have covered the whole of your paper and you need to let that dry ready for tomorrow's lesson. Okay, children, I hope you have a lovely afternoon and good luck with making your fire background for your scene.